it's swinging, pirates. I want to apologize. I know it's been a minute since I've put anything on YouTube. I've been really busy, I'll be honest. And the reason that I've been really busy, I've been getting a ton of calls from people that have lost items, rings, cell phones, you name it. The reason why? Well, the news was following me around for a couple of days. I've got a couple of links to share with you in the description. Feel free, check those out, give them a read. Good stuff. Hopefully I was a uh, good advocate for the hobby, but anyway, feel free, check those out. And they did a video feature, so we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna play that right now. I'm Michigan is one big lost and found bin, from shipwrecks lost centuries ago to wedding rings lost last weekend. It's all out there. Good thing there's a guy whose passion is to go get it. How does that popular 70s song go? Oh yeah. Reunited and it feels so good. What am I doing with my life? I need to go on an adventure. Peaches and Herb would be proud of this dude. I'll go look for treasure. His passion is reuniting a metal detector that's what we need name's ace covey the thrill of the hunt the thrill of the chase aka the lakeshore janitor he's out here every day i found coins from the early 1800s numerous gold rings silver rings necklaces pendants for hours finding what you lost found a civil war belt buckle can't quite reunite that owner would be 150 years old he keeps them all where else? In a treasure chest. In two weeks, I found enough gold rings to pay for a new MacBook laptop. Headphones on. All of the targets sound a little bit different. Detector in hand. Low and slow. Ace wades in. Keep your coil to the soil. On this day. I had someone that has contacted me through social media. He's looking for something specific. They lost their ring out in Lake Michigan. Back and forth. Kind of like mowing the lawn. I dig everything that I hear. On his last sweep before returning to land. Got a penny in the ring. Is it the ring? I'll have to double check his description. Bottom line. If it's on the bottom. There's just something about going out and finding the unexpected. It won't be for long. Not when the Lakeshore janitor is on duty. I would say that I dig this hobby. Pun intended. Brent Ashcroft, 13 on your side. Now I was on a specific mission and even while I was out there, I was still finding more than what I was looking for. So these are some of the rings that I have been finding over the last couple of weeks, minus a few because I've actually already been able to return those to the rightful owners. Other ones, I don't think that I'll be able to return. I mean, they've been down there for obviously quite a while um, it's just part of the business going out and looking for other stuff you're bound to run into all sorts of things including a ton of rings so yeah I mean I found some nice big sterling rings a couple of littler sterling stainless steel I mean we've pretty much hit the spectrum of finds you know we've got some tungsten and titanium rings um, it's just been it's been a busy beginning to the fall year this guy is a 14 carat ring it's marked 585 in there along with some other detail but that is nice found this earring it kind of looks like it could be rose gold i have not found a marking on it yet there are some little stones in there so anyone's guess might have to do an acid test we'll see and then we found this one right here i mean this is just a beautiful ring fit for a princess gorgeous gorgeous center diamond it has a bunch of chips all throughout the band 14 karat and yes we do have the owner the return for this ring will be in an upcoming video i have a hopefully really good surprise set up for it but can't wait to give this one back so yeah needless to say We've been busy out there swinging for rings. And don't worry, I've got a lot of videos in the works because I've been doing so many of these ring recoveries. So stay tuned for those. I hope you guys enjoy that. And remember, keep swinging for the ring.